What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the doctor's office. I am Dr. Kaori Knight here to give you the proper diagnosis and prognosis and everything comics and comic book characters. And today, we have another mutant. And you already know what this segment is, comic book characters you may or may not know about. Today we are talking about Alexander Nathaniel Summers from Earth 19647. And he is the son of Cable and believe it or not, Storm. Now, not much is known about his early life other than Storm had died when he was really young and he lived in the existence, which is a realm where the Atlanteans and the mutants had all lived together after the Catalyst had started killing off all of mutant kind. Because his mother died when he was young, he was raised by his father and he started to learn how to use his mutant abilities as well as develop a telepathic resistance so that none of his opponents who were able to you know access minds telepathically would be able to probe his thoughts eventually he ended up joining x command of course uh which was tasked with two things he ended up getting the title of major and he ended up being called major x and he was tasked with protecting the existence while the rest of x command was tasked with finding the catalyst while he was doing everything he could to protect the existence the existential had went missing and the ex existence started to fall apart there's a lot of x things going on here just in case you haven't noticed it's a lot <laughs> anyway, the existence started to fall apart, so he and McCoy ended up going to the past via, or via, what the fuck? Via mother bike, so that they could find Existential's past self and get them to help with returning the existence to what it was before. After they get there, they end up going up against X-Force and Wolverine, and after trying to like explain themselves after that whole entire conflict was over he ended up being attacked by dreadpool who was sent to kill him by watchtower he ended up being saved by deadpool who had driven dreadpool away and he just decided to reveal his identity and the reason that he was there because they needed assistance and they needed assistance quickly <sighs> there's a lot of things going on right now. now getting into his powers Whew. So he does have weather manipulation just like his mother and to be perfectly honest he looks just like her he has a white hair and everything I think you saw the picture anyway so <laughs> he has the weather manipulation and specifically the electrokinesis that he uses more than more often than not he also has telekinesis just like his father and then he has the telepathy and uh, telepathic resistance that he built up training with his dad and he also is proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat as well as weapons a specific weapon he carries around is called the sword of x he was given it he was given that when he first joined x command uh kind of as a gift and it was actually it's actually made from adamantium from the bones of wolverine who on this earth is also dead interesting there was also some controversy surrounding this character in particular so People were confused as to when his first appearance actually is and it was confirmed that his first appearance is the variant cover of Deadpool. Specifically it's Deadpool volume 7 number 10 and it's not the illusion that of him that appears in Spider-Man Deadpool number 47. Now. What do we like about this character? I actually like that this character uh, is even in existence he seems very cool the parent thing is odd but he actually seems to be one of the more powerful children if i had to put him on a scale with all of storm's kids i would put chimera first because chimera is apparently very very powerful on her earth and then i would put mr alexander second um while he doesn't have literally anything existent of her name, he does have her looks. He has the white hair, which means he does, he is capable of not only magic, 
He is also very capable of manipulating the weather, just like his mother, which is one of his abilities. There's another thing, uh, if you watch the Chimera video that I did mention, they are kind of confused on or in a disagreement on her powers, but with the white hair, not only is she magic capable, but she is definitely able to control weather because that is literally a signature of Storm's whole entire bloodline. Anyway. This is not about her. <laughs> Getting to this, this story seems very interesting and it was more so centered around Alexander versus being centered around Cable. And I really do like that. I really do like that they put this story being centered around him and him being called Major X. I actually love that. The thing that I don't too much love, and I guess that's with any of the stories that involve any characters that form a team is that X isn't everything. The existence, the existence, like, <sighs> please help me. <laughs> um, but as a story of his, I really did enjoy it. And I really want them to bring him into more storylines. If I could get a storyline with literally all of Storm's kids, I could die happy. I think that, that would be so fucking phenomenal. I think that they would be an amazing, unstoppable fucking team. Like that is a team for the centuries, okay? I'm just saying. Um, but that is it for Mr. Alexander Nathaniel Summers, aka Major X. And he again is from Earth 19647. And don't forget to stop by the doctor's office again for another checkup.